Okay, well, uh, got the stepper, it's actually been a little more than five minutes. Uh, got uh, the stepper wire extensions pretty much uh, made out. This is the end result. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to route these yet. I mean, in all reality, it's uh, kind of a puzzling pickle. Maybe I'll build up a front shelf here. Alright, well, anyway, everything seemed to go pretty good. Uh, a couple of things are working exactly the way I want them to. Uh, namely the lights. I mean, like, holy, holy bright Batman. Um, and the uh, turn-on for the uh, ATX. This is a this is a bad, bad boy uh, ATX power supply here too. Uh, it's twin redundant power supply, as you can see. When uh, one of them goes off, you get a nice little warning signal. So, uh, and they are both totally tied together. I have no idea where I'm going to find a replacement unit for it, and I'm sure it'll be expensive if it ever does die on me. At which time I'll just replace it with a standard. ATX. The uh, green orange wire you see there is running to a breakout terminal on the board. Uh, you don't see the lights on the stepper driver because that guy right there, 48 volt, okay, and just for reference here, it's a 7.5 amp 48 volt. I am running it at uh, 4.6 amps is what the stepper settings are set at. Uh, off, off, on. Uh, off, off, on. Sorry, 5.5 amps. Uh, max. 3.9 RMS. Uh, anyway, everything is going beautifully. Um, control panel, I'll go ahead and hit the reset button, which will trigger the reset button in mock. And there you go. ATX power supply shuts down, uh, light shut down. So, reset back on, everything comes back up. You know, the, the camera doesn't even do it justice how literally bright these guys are. And uh, just for reference, I do have the floodlight on now, and it will get mounted uh, somewhere else, but I'll go ahead and pull that, and you don't even notice a difference. Uh, the floodlight, I think, will end up being mounted at about here. Here? Here? Right there? Yeah, somewhere right around there. I think I like that. So anyway, I'm doing some... Uh, rapid travels on the Z to see where my uh, limit is and I hadn't found it yet and holy shooting flames and smoke Batman and I should have realized and it was actually it was doing something funky with the whole power setup here you like that Woo! Uh, because it was not allowing uh, disconnecting this wire actually keeping the whole system on as soon as I took this guy out of the equation or it took itself out of the equation uh, the ATX power supply started uh, functioning properly again so anyway with that oh uh, so the ATX power supplies also have a 5 volt standby so when they have uh, power they go into 5 volts they when they have uh, 120 volts power they also have one of these lines here have a 5 volt uh, standby power um, I will be I will be tying that into everything as well so and I don't think that also is a USB, but let's, uh, uh, that reset. 
Alright, I'm gonna shut off in session, yes. Alright, so that shut down there. We still got power there. And the, the reason I'm getting to this is that I want to have the uh, uh, motherboard set up so that when I shut down computer, when I shut down the computer, I'm shutting down the computer. Got all that a lot of tabs up though. I do that all the time. <sighs> Turn off computer. So anyway, when I have the uh, the computer shut off, I still have that five volt. Um... Okay, computer's gonna shut off. And again, I haven't worked out the entire logic of this yet. But the computer shuts off. It'll shut off. It'll automatically kick off all relays. Um, power relays and stuff like that. So every power supply will shut down. Including then itself the computer power supply. That 5 volt... Um, that 5 volts will come into play when when I hit my flip my switch my power switch on the control panel that I'll be building for the power supply the motherboard BIOS will be set up to automatically turn the computer on we're waiting to see if power goes out here so the computer will come on if it doesn't come on uh, there will still be 5 volt um, for the relays and stuff like that to be able to uh, at least turn on lighting and and the rest of the power supplies to get things going and moving. Um, something to that effect anyway. I haven't worked, like I said, I haven't worked out, fully worked out the logic, but it's going to be safe and... Well, that's not cool. The uh, ground pin automatically deferred to a ground state. The parallel port pin automatically deferred to a ground state. And uh, shut that guy off. So I'll probably end up using a... And, so, and it's active low right now. So I'll probably end up switching that to an active high on a 5 volt relay. Uh, and then use the. Uh, <coughs> use the relay to kick that ground state on. What a pain in the butt. It's going to be a lot, of, a lot of gibberish and rigmarole. So anyway. I have some. Now that I'm third.